Gun control and the response to terrorism has become a critical part of the presidential campaign. Yeah, Hillary Clinton tweeted yesterday, gun violence and hate aren't isolated. Homophobia in Orlando, racism in Charleston. We need to fight them together. And while Donald Trump tweeted, people very unhappy with crooked Hillary and Obama on jobs and safety, biggest trade deficit in many years. More attacks will follow Orlando. And here with us is our political analyst, Professor Michael Shires from Pepperdine University. So the Orlando shootings have changed the flow of the presidential campaign, and it seems the original plans have shifted a bit. They have. I mean, this campaign was originally going to be in some ways a replay of 2014 with a focus on the economy, on the 1 percent, and you know, Donald Trump being the poster child for the 1 percent. And then on the other side, national security and sort of corruption and Hillary's record, which Bernie capitalized mm -hmm. on so much. And that was really, that combined with the immigration conversation and the wall was going to be the focus of the campaign. So what do we really see changing as a result? Well, obviously, this week has been all about terrorism and gun control. I mean, you know, it's only been less than a week. Mm -hmm. And I think most Americans are still in shock about what happened last weekend. And yeah, I think both campaigns might have moved a little too quickly, quite frankly, mm -hmm. moving into this conversation about how do I leverage this incident for my campaign. Mm -hmm. uh, I think if one of them had taken a step aside and said, let's pause for a minute and find out what's going on, it would have been better for them. But really, you have proxies. You have President Obama on the, on the Democratic side taking the lead on gun control. You see it as Hillary Clinton's theme. You saw it in her tweets. Mm -hmm. Um, you see on the other side this conversation about national security and how do we protect ourselves. And it really has redefined the debate. We haven't had any conversations about the economy or anything else this week. Mm -hmm. So how will this play out over the next several months? Well, we're a long ways from November, even though it's only five months. And kind of thankfully, it's only five <laughs> months mm -hmm. in some ways. I mean, we still have the choices for the VPs. We still have the conventions. And, and you see the conversation today. Is Trump going to be the nominee? We still don't know what Bernie Sanders is going to do. He's already said, I'm not stepping out. So what is he going to do at the convention? So there's a lot of drama to unfold before we get to the actual election. If there's not another terrorist attack between now and then, unfortunately, I think this serious issue is probably going to fall to the wayside a bit in the mm -hmm. process. Really? But who do you think the current crisis favor, Trump or Clinton? Well, the common wisdom is that if you have people afraid for their security, Republicans do well, and that would be Donald Trump. If you have people worried about their jobs, then Democrats do well. Now, that's the common wisdom. We have this bizarre circumstance right now where you have Donald Trump running a campaign, a protectionist campaign, that says, hey, I'm going to protect union jobs. You want to take your air conditioning plan out of the country? I'm not going to let you do it. And you have Hillary Clinton, who was Secretary of State, who has great foreign policy credentials. So there's a little ambiguity about, you know, that 3 a.m. call. Who do you really want to answer it? But generally speaking, we've seen a little bit in the polling that Trump has moved a little bit ahead. But there's a tremendous amount of stuff still to happen if there's another attack or if there's a big economic collapse. Again, that will leverage those things. And then there's the candidates themselves. Hillary Clinton could be indicted. And I've said this too many times, and he still does well, but Donald Trump could actually say something that stops him from becoming president. So, yeah, the candidates are unpredictable. The environment's unpredictable. We have a long road ahead of us. This is going to be a difficult election for most Americans. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Thanks so much, Professor. And be sure to stay with KKL9 News and KKL9.com for continuing coverage of Campaign 2016.